Welcome everyone to the Pantheon. I am Ray. I'm Evie. And Evie, what are we looking at today? Uh, Thunder Force? That's right. Starring Octavia Spencer and Melissa Joan McCarthy. Melissa Joan McCarthy. Yeah. Um, Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. Uh, this is a Netflix exclusive movie. Uh, it is, I am pretty sure, even though we don't know right now, I am almost certain this movie is going to be a Razzie. So if it is, uh, we're going to repeat this show on our Razzie show because why do if it's twice as good or twice as bad we'll air this we'll air, we'll air this podcast twice uh so i'm hoping i don't hope i'm pretty much again i can pretty much say this movie will be a Razzie nominated film for 2020 yeah for sure um not that i'm saying this movie well no one wants to do a bad movie uh in or intends to do a bad film uh so i'll leave it at that this movie is polarizing because People either hated this movie, people either love this movie. I, I'm sure you're you're on the camp who actually liked this movie, who thought it was fun, yep. on the Sun of Value. I yeah. questioned this movie, but like on the surface, it was fine. Um, the choices it made was a little off, but like you know, I, I know uh, Bobby kind of Valley and 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 uh, Melissa McCarthy did another movie together. It's their same period. Uh, mm -hmm. So they did, they did another movie where she, uh, where this was with the one where she's uh, working with an AI computer that will kill the earth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they that. play like a love interest. And this was done in the exact same few months together. So uh, mm -hmm. they were very working tightly to cut together at that period of time. But, right. Uh, this movie, I don't know how I feel about this film, to be perfectly honest. I thought it was. Like I like the idea of the childhood, like, like why they broke up, how they first met. That was yeah. less than the first thirty minutes in the movie, so it's kind of they kind of give you a backstory of why they're they're sort of like uh, at odds, but they're, they're very close. They're their family. Um, I think the one of the one of the, the surprise little twist is uh, uh, their mother when they go when they when they reunite, they have dinner with their mother, and she thinks they're an item. You know, and they have dinner together, and, and she has yeah. a little statue she brings out that shows them. I yeah. thought, okay, I I didn't I didn't see that coming, so that was kind of like, oh, wow, okay. So that kind of that kind of threw me off, and then so that was that was sort of like a fun little thing. Um, the crab, okay. So I will say this: there are two sequences that that I thought, like, why. The, the second one was a dance sequence where she has that vision of them dancing together, which is played by Jason Bateman and her have a dance. Okay. That drove me yeah. that drove me nuts. I didn't like that at all. The part where she makes fun of Urkel. Oh, okay. You know. Oh. Because okay. it kind of it 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 not it's it's humor, but it's like th th she's mocking a character, and it it, it borders okay. on insensitivity for me a little bit. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, Maybe okay. that's just, but it's not. It wasn't. Wasn't meant to be. That's more like toilet humor, on that level. Okay. But oh, okay, yeah. So I thought if they cut that out, it would have been okay because it's like you don't need to go there. You don't need to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So oh. th those are those are like my Debbie Down Downers of this film. Um, I got you. But in terms of Octavia Spencer, what, what's kind of cool because she's an Oscar-winning actress. She does. She's like her last low bar movie was ma but like even that was a pretty cool movie um yeah. and she's done like you know like the uh, the help and she's a really good actress i mean you know, she's done like yeah. she was a co-star in um mm -hmm. guillermo del toro's oscar movie but if you're looking mm -hmm. at a movie that will challenge you in terms of comedy or just being thinking outside the box i could see why spencer took this movie because it's different but yet it's a story of sisters you know mm -hmm. surrogates if you will and it's kind of cool. It's like, you know, like, like, like one can't live without the other because their power sets the way it's right. um, yeah. So give us the, the breakdown. Like, what is this movie about? Like, if you had to summarize it, like an IMDb summary, how would you describe this film? Um, I don't know. I guess a woman by herself, um, you know, who just, who, who finds love. Um, yeah, you know, um, who, who kind of, yeah, a woman who finds love in her weird life. Um, it was, it was okay. Um, well, the premise is, uh, there's a solar flare or some sort of like re cosmic ray radiation hits the earth. And anyone who is, I guess, has a disposition of being a criminal or have a psychopath yeah. or a 
maybe a psychologically um, bent okay. profile. Uh, those people, people are given superpowers and people who are normal, who are well adjusted, who are balanced, mm -hmm. uh, uh, don't have the superpower gene. You know, mm -hmm. Octavia Spencer's character, uh, her character, Emily, um, she was a scientist, her parents are scientists. She's by, by default become a scientist to help find a way to mm -hmm. uh, battle these people. And she, over decades or a decade and a half, creates mm -hmm. a serum or a process to which to make herself a superhero to, to fight these criminals. Right. Uh, the, of, her, Miss McCarthy is her surrogate sister who, who bumbles her way back in her life. On the mm -hmm. anniversary of her of Askel reunion, she accidentally yeah. injects herself with half of the serum. The, the serum itself gives you super, super strength and abilities. The other part of the serum creates invisibility and probably, mm -hmm. I think that's basically the other, the other powers yeah. of invisibility. So that's so they become thunder and thunder force. Um, one is invisibility, one is a strength. So uh, they become a tag team partner. So I think that was kind of interesting uh, of how you have a female empowered movie doing something that's uh, mm -hmm. has, has a positive message towards it. And it's like one can't survive without the other. So it's about teamwork. Um, so the theme of that works for me to a certain level. The comedy is really stretched out quite a bit. Um, you know, though I think this movie could have been cut down to 20 minutes less mm -hmm. to make it work. Bobby kind of Calavani is a, is a mayor. It's really cool. Uh, Jason Bateman is the, the crab, which is a very unique take on the, for a villain. Mm -hmm. Um, who is half, half, they say half Korean, but it's not half, it's half creation. Um, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's like, that joke is a little stale, but it's kind of interesting how they go about that. Um, how were you processing this film? I like the space tech. That was really cool, you know, mm -hmm. all the buttons and I don't know. I just like the space tech, you know, all of the jokes and stuff. I, I liked it, actually. You know, Silly comic book movie, yeah. you know. You yeah. know, it had... Um, you know, uh, definitely space things in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it, it was like silly, right. but funny. Okay. No, and cool. funny in a certain way too. And that's my view on that. How about yours? You know, I, I'm kind of like on the same boat with you. I, I looked at this more of a sci-fi like action movie than it is comic book -y, though it has the themes of what would make a comic book movie, like as an origin story. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, no, this is, this plays more like Demolition Man meets Last Action Hero, you know, this, okay. this, is, yeah. this is sort of like that kind of like theme. It's, it's, okay. it's camp, but it's sort of like, it tries to be, it plays camp right through the end, you know, drags you through the coals, but it, it tries to play mm -hmm. on a serious narrative. And I think okay. Spencer's role is this, this, this is a straight man and it works and, the, and she mm. turns off McCarthy's like comedic you know, bumbling characters. So it's, it's, it's pretty works that way. Okay, okay. Well, on that note, that ends our show. I hope you like it. Uh, check out my weekly blog. I'll have a little something that goes along with this. Hopefully some insights to the movie, uh, some interviews with the cast members, you know, the director, Ben, Ben Falcone, mm -hmm. who directed this movie. I think they've done, they've done four films together and the four are not necessarily the best films. Mm -hmm. Life of the Party, if you like that movie, there's a movie they've done together that sort of was probably the, the yeah. best out of all cool. the four. But, there you go. Uh, on that note, I am Ray. And I'm Evie. We'll talk to you next week.